My name is Stanley Adwell. Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of IntelliSteel. We formed IntelliSteel back in 2016. IntelliSteel is a leading design advanced manufacturer of cold form steel. We deliver in a modular fashion where we do complete full turnkey modular in our factory. We do off-site manufacturing where we manufacture in our factory and we also do on-site manufacturing where we actually take the manufacturing directly to the job site and manufacture there. Those three delivery mechanisms put me in a position to scale the business where we're currently going today. And when you think about the reasons that are impacting change for speed and for quality, the technology in and of itself forces scale to happen. We're gonna be in a position of not being able to keep up because we don't have enough users in the marketplace, which is a great problem to have. It just means that we need to all step up. So this is an opportunity for whoever's thinking about getting into this industry to consider it. We're finding that cold form steel as a solution for construction addresses the biggest problems that we face today in not only the U.S. but globally. Uh, the U.S. is a heavily wood-based uh, environment for construction. Uh, once you're able to mitigate those risks of termites, mold, mildew, now you're taking those off the table. You're able to design cold form steel specifically to handle hurricanes, seismic, flood, high wind. And in those scenarios, you're able to remove that insurance requirement off of what is currently impacting wood and cost today. You have this waterfall effect of watching the cost of construction impacted by labor reductions that you're able to do with cold form steel because you have precision material versus hand stick, hand manipulated material, and then you drive that down into supply chain removals. All those are this waterfall set of savings that are now being able to flow back upstream and also start to reduce the cost of construction that lend itself to a, a solution that, while it's always been around, it seems like it's just been heard. I think speed of construction has a lot of implications. We were all impacted at one point during COVID where all of a sudden people couldn't go to work materials couldn't arrive, and that exposure took projects, took developers, and took owners, their original projects, and completely removed them off the table. Now they weren't able to complete them or they lost money on them. Once you go to offsite construction, because you're doing more than 50% faster than you can do with a hand stick, when you can do with on-site labor, and you're able to do it with two-thirds the number of people, speed is an automatic. You just cannot match off-site manufacturing with cold form steel with any type of traditional construction, no matter if you quadrupled your staff size, you can't do it. It's just an answer. The design is absolutely critical. I think that we probably spend more time on design and engineering than we do anything else. Uh, the design process of this will dictate your future, it will dictate your result. Um, having a design-led process and spending the time getting everyone aligned all the stakeholders in place, positioned so that when you do produce the product, the product is produced the way that it was intended to be produced, not only by its design on the plans, but also contemplating what it's like on the job site. To have as much knowledge on the job site is as critical as having the design up front. The first time that you do a project and you are able to shorten the time and you're able to reduce the cost and you've now got a superior quality building because all the walls are straight and all the corners are square, all the finishes look like they've never looked before and it took two thirds less people to do it, all of a sudden now you've changed the game. Sustainability and recyclability in the material has become one of the biggest factors that you're finding out from those financiers that are financing these large developments, these single family homes and these large multifamily projects, all the way down through hospitals. Every project now has some notion of what is the sustainability program around it? What is the material being used and how are you applying that? So when you take something that is now at, in some mills 90% recyclable, you build a, a building with it. That building gets taken down at some point and that building structure gets recycled again. You're just improving the nexus and the increasing the recyclability content. You're actually reducing your carbon footprint and you're saving the trees that are out there that should be growing to be shaved. The next five years, cold form steel will absolutely be at the forefront. Wood is no longer a tolerable mechanism for construction for all the reasons of 
inefficiencies, deficiencies, supply chain, volatility. It no longer allows construction to be a predictable industry. And once you take that predictability out, you're now forced to make change. So cold form steel has already done that and it's doing it now in every sector. I don't think that you'll have a problem recognizing that in the next five years, cold form steel will be the absolute dominating force in construction. Our business without FrameCAD would not be a business. It's frankly because we wouldn't have the technology, we wouldn't have the software, we wouldn't have the support, and without that you cannot challenge an industry as large as the U.S. construction industry without a bona fide, verified partner like FrameCAD. I think the biggest issue people have is there is an assumption in the construction industry that steel first, or cold form steel, is more expensive, and that's just been proven to be completely not true. If you were to take a stick of, of wood and you take that same stick of metal, if you looked at that cost, you might see that if you were to purchase it, that cost of metal might be slightly higher. But what you don't have in that wood is you don't have the reduction of labor, you don't have the engineering component, you don't have the precision component, and you don't have the waste. By the time you get done by adding those in, all of a sudden you have a lower cost for a material piece that people have in their mind that's not correct. They just think it's more expensive. The mindset is that people think that moving away from tradition, moving away from what they know, is automatically more expensive. And the only expensive part to that is not doing it.